I'm Monique and I have ADHD. So growing up, I was a hot mess. Like I could not stay still with my life and depended on it. And so when I was five, my parents finally decided to put me in soccer. And at the moment, I didn't really notice that I was good. I just knew I loved playing and I never got tired. Like ever. I could run for like days and I never got tired. So in fourth grade, my parents finally decided to take me to go try out for my first club team. And club is like a little pro league for like kids. So it's like a three day process. And um, when I got there, every coach that worked for the club was out there. So no matter what drill you were doing or what scrimmage you were playing, someone was always watching, which is a lot of pressure for 11 year olds. And not only that, but this is the first time I was around girls that had the same skill level or better than me, so I was starting to get kind of nervous. And when I get nervous in soccer, it's not the business. I like get really frustrated. I start overthinking every single little thing I'm doing. And so I was like, tryouts were going on. I was like getting more and more nervous and more and more frustrated and I wasn't doing much. And I was overthinking every single thing. So towards the end, I just started shutting down. I like stopped caring. I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm to go home. I don't care. So after the first day of tryouts, our parents took me to go eat Taco Bell. And I remember I was just like super annoyed and super frustrated because I didn't do very good and I was like sad. And then I was waiting for my food and my mom asked me, uh, so how do you think you did? How are you feeling? And my mom's a therapist, so like growing up, that's all you ever talked about was like your feelings. And usually it's not that big of a deal, but when you're frustrated and you have nobody to blame but yourself, you don't want to talk about your feelings. But it's my mom, so I don't really have a choice. I'm going to tell you how I feel. So I was like, oh, well, I looked down, and I was like, wow, I don't think I'd be very good. I was like, I over was overthinking every single little dribble, move, pass I did. I was like, I know I didn't stand out. Those girls are way better than me. I was like, I but I want to be on this team. I deserve to be on this team. I'm good enough to be on this team. I was like, if I want to go pro, I have to make the team. If I can't even make the club team, there's no way I'm ever going to go pro. So I'm like super sad. Like, and I look up, and my mom and my dad are smiling at me. Like, smiling, like it's the best day of their life. And I was like, in my head I'm thinking, why are you smiling? I'm, my dreams are crushing right in front of me and you're smiling at me. Like, it's no big deal. You don't even care about my feelings. And I was really sad and I was like, wow, that's kind of rude and disrespectful. But whatever, you can smile at me. So then my dad says, oh, well, um, the coach came up to us after practice, after the tryout and was like, um, and then he just stops, takes a breath, looks at my mom, and smiles at her, and then they both look at me. And then I don't understand why my dad stopped in the middle of the sentence, but he stopped. And let me tell you, it was the longest five seconds of my life. And then he says, well, you made the team. And I was like, wait, what? And he's like, you made the team. And I was like, how's that possible? Because one, it was only the first day of tryouts, and two, I did not do very good. And then he was like, he like looked at me and like got super serious, and was like, Monique, you made the team. And I don't know what clicked, but right after that, I started crying. So here I was, a little 11 year old, sweating, all of all my soccer stuff, in the middle of talking about crying like someone just died. And I was crying and then I was like, wow. Girls try out for club teams all the time and I made it on the first day without even trying. Like I did horrible. So I was just, I was, couldn't even believe it. I was super sad and after that I realized when it comes to soccer, anything is possible. And I've made every single team I've ever tried out for since then. Club, high school, college. In April, I'm trying out for the Mexico national team, so if you ever have a dream, don't stop. Even if there's something wrong with you, like ADHD or something, you just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>